This is Yoshi Shiraki. You are listening to K Talk Radio, 1640 AM. You're listening to the show called Utah Home Sweet Home. And today we are discussing the importance of purchasing your first rental property or purchasing rental properties if you already have some in a in a different way. I'm not going to call it a better way, but in my opinion, uh, I like the Burr strategy more than the traditional strategy, but that doesn't mean everybody does. But a different way, a way that's going to give you opportunity to leverage the money that you have and purchase more real estate versus less real estate. So we're going to talk about now how to find these off-market opportunities or uh, more I should say undervalued opportunities. So the first way is for sell by owners. We talked about this oh, maybe four or five weeks ago. With For sell by owners, oftentimes they don't know the value of their home. They don't know that it's in many cases you know, worth more than it is. And it's kind of like when you go to sell a car. You know, why is it that if you sold your car on KSL, that exact same car, had you taken to Larry H. Miller Toyota or a big car dealership, they're going to sell that same car for five, ten thousand dollars $10,000 more than you did. You know, why is it that they're able to get more money? Well, typically they just know the value of automobiles better. Um, and, it, you know, I, I'm far from an automobile expert, but usually car dealers uh, are going to be able to sell your car, the exact same car, for more money than you are. So, kind of the same thing with for sale by owners. You know, I'm not saying every single for sale by owner doesn't get exactly what their house is worth, but there are a lot that don't. There are a lot that do, so let me be clear. There are a lot that do, but there are a lot that don't. Versus properties on the MLS where they're using a professional real estate agent, that real estate agent has access to the MLS. And because they have access to the MLS, they have access to the same data for the most part that an appraiser has access to. So they're able to gauge a more accurate value to a property than let's say a for sale by owner who does not have access to the MLS. So a lot of investors will go and shop for sale by owners because Quite frankly, we get a good deal there a lot of times, not every time, but a lot of times we get good deals with for sale by owners because they don't know the value of their home and oftentimes it is listed, uh, they're selling it for less than what it's worth. And without a real estate agent, they, for sale by owners, don't have as much experience in negotiating. So there are a lot of investors out there who like negotiating with for sale by owners versus a real estate agent because their for sale by owner is usually a little bit easier to negotiate with than, a, than another real estate agent because the real estate agent is a real estate professional who has probably got some experience in negotiating. It's kind of like going to the car dealership again. When I go to the car dealership, you know, I'm probably not the best person to negotiate with that car dealer because I don't know cars very well. So for sale by owners, kind of the same thing. They don't know houses very well, so they typically don't negotiate too good on their behalf. And again, that's not everybody, but that's why a lot of investors will go seek out for sale by owners because there's a good opportunity to find underpriced real estate there. So you might have to call a bunch though, right? Because like I said, a lot, of real, a lot of for sale by owners do price their house right, but a lot don't. So you might have to make quite a few phone calls and see quite a few houses, but when you find that undervalued home, that's the opportunity where you can now leverage a hard money lender. Okay, now another place you can find them sometimes is on the MLS, where there is an agent, but the house is in such need of repair that most people aren't shopping to buy that home where they're going to live happily ever after because they're, you know, the kitchen needs to be done, the roof needs to be done, the water heater is not working. So you might want to have a real estate agent set up a hot sheet for you that has special criteria in the remarks that will, when, when an agent describes a property, for instance, that needs TLC, tender loving care, or is a handyman special, those properties will hit your inbox and be and notify you that this property is you know probably a property that you might be able to negotiate a little bit just because it is in need of repair it's not the one that it's not the home that you know anybody's going to walk into and go i love it let's move our kids in here you know this is th these are homes that you're going to walk into and go yeah the, definitely not moving the kids in here this needs a lot of work so you can find some of those on the mls now another strategy obviously is you can find a realtor who already specializes or has a high focus 
on finding off-market deals. So I've had Trevor Thompson on the show. I've had Brad Hawley. I've had, um, I'm trying to think off the top of my head here, uh, Matt Strong. I've had a number of real estate agents who specialize in off-market deals because we're investors, we, you know, myself included. A lot of the properties that I purchase are not on the MLS. I'm doing marketing to find opportunities where I don't have the competition of everybody going into a bidding war, so myself included, we specialize in how to find properties off of the MLS. So if you can utilize a real estate agent who has these types of relationships or focuses on this type of strategy where a lot of the leads that come into their pipeline on properties they buy are not on the MLS, then these are opportunities where this, these realtors can also feed you uh, off-market properties. So you're going to want to either start calling for sale by owners, set up a real estate hot sheet for TLC handyman kind of specials, uh, and also set up a relationship with an, a realtor who focuses on off-market off, uh, opportunities. And I guess really the reality is you're going to want to do all three. The more you do, the more likely you're going to increase the percentage of properties that are going to come down your pipeline of opportunities that you can implement the burr and utilize the hard money lender, now the property. Now the third component you're going to need is a mortgage broker who's going to refinance you out of that hard money loan.